Hello and welcome back to this Trails of Cold Steel. Let's play with me, SLJ RPG, in the last episode. We defeated the highway monster, the dinosaur, and also helped out by doing a little bit of bargaining. But all is done for the day, so we must retire to the weather clock in. So, let's return to the inn for dinner. Got another day here in Seldiac. Seldak. We're going to have some things to do. Otto is closing up the market for the day. No food, just big mugs of coffee, was what it looks oh, like. That was delicious. Those were some seriously fresh vegetables, too. Very nice. Yeah, nothing beats food made from local ingredients. I would happen to agree. I quite enjoyed the rye bread myself. I suppose this whole field study thing isn't so bad when you take the menu into account. I wonder what the others in Group B are doing right now. Somehow, I doubt they're sitting around a table and talking like we are. Probably not. That would certainly be a shock if they were. I can't help but question what exactly Class 7's purpose is, though. Instructor Sarah says it's about Arcus, but I don't think that's the only reason we've been brought together. Trying to break the, uh, the old class system. I'm certain it's not. If that were all, today's field study tasks would serve little purpose. It seems as though she's trying to make us experience... I don't know. Things. Like, all kinds of things, big and small. Oh, oh. What I can't wrap my head around, though, is why. The variety of all life. Yeah. Instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just going to blow away with the next big gust that comes along. Indeed. What do we have to offer one another? when our reasons for enrolling at Thor's in the first place are undoubtedly very different. Our reasons? I hadn't considered that. My reason for enrolling was quite simple. Continue the legacy. I aim to come ever closer to my goal. Or, rather, to the person whom I regard as such. Who's that? <laughs> this is neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. But what about you, Elisa? Why did you enroll at the academy? Why did you? To carry on the R name? Hmm. There's no one single reason, but I think I just wanted to assert my independence. I mean, my situation back at home isn't exactly ideal, and this seems like a good way to get out and do more, I guess. I see. Hmm. It sounds like I'm probably in the minority then. See, I wasn't intending on coming here at all originally. I wanted to do something completely different. Wanted to go study music. You did? Oh yeah. You said you were really hoping you'd get into a music academy, right? Oh? <laughs> well, I wasn't that serious about it or anything. What about you, Reen? You're the last holdout, and since you're the one who brought it up, it's only fair you answer the question too. Yes, what are your reasons, Reen? I wanted to find myself, I guess. Find yourself? Huh? <sighs> Sorry. That makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. That's the best way I can think of to put it, though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going on a journey of self-discovery? Indeed. It's actually a pretty cool answer. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a romanticist. You're gonna see that, Elisa. You sure don't come across as one. Ugh, I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> Laura seems to really understand it. So, you want me to wake you up at six? Something seems to be boring, old Laura uh, Arsad. But we're not actually going to sleep yet, are we? Not until we write our reports for the day. I want to shut off my brain so badly right now, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. Still got some time. <laughs> she seems to have forgotten all about the room situation. 
And I'm not about to remind her. Laura? Rain? Hmm? What is it? I was unsure whether to ask or not, but I've decided that this question bears answering. Why have you chosen to hold back? Oh, interesting. What? Your sword style and technique. It is the Eight Leaves One Blade School, is it not? <sighs> Popularized by the Sword Hermit, Yoon Kafai, it combines the best elements of other Eastern sword styles. Those who master any of its forms are referred to as a divine blade and are said to understand the true nature of all things. Which we know, obviously, Cassius Bray and Arius McLean were divine blades. You certainly know an awful lot about it. I didn't think it was particularly renowned here in the Empire. We of the Arsade School consider the studying of other swordsmanship styles to be an essential part of our training. In addition, my father once told me, if you follow the path of the sword, it is only a matter of time before you encounter a follower of the Eight Leaves. Your father said that? <laughs> it's an honor to be acknowledged by the Radiant Blade Master himself. <laughs> I'm nothing special, though. I'm just a dropout who's never even been able to progress past beginner level. We'll see about that. I did train under Master Ka Fai for a while, but I started to feel like I couldn't go any further with my abilities, and he cut my training short. W what? So I'm really not holding back. Honest. Interesting. I actually kind of feel like I'm dirtying the good name of the Eight Leaf School, in fact. But this is my limit. I'm sorry I can't quite live up to your expectations. <sighs> Laura? You have no reason to apologize to me. This is a matter you must come to terms with on your own. Yeah, you're dampening yourself. Oh, I'll admit to some disappointment. I was hoping you'd prove to be a good sparring partner. I... I'm going to practice outside for a bit. Please go and finish your report with Elisa and Elliot. Interesting. We're going to learn a little bit more about the A, a Blades. <sighs> we know Annalise, we know the, the other two Blade Masters as well. Is she getting jealous? There's a lot he doesn't want to talk about, huh? I can see in his eyes sometimes that he's bottling something up and trying really hard to keep anyone else from noticing. You've noticed it too? <laughs> you sure have taken quite an interest in him. <laughs> I, I was just trying to work out the best time to apologize, that's all. It's not like I've been consciously paying attention to him or anything, honestly. We, we'll see about that. <laughs> Ring's not the only one bottling up his feelings though, is he? You've been doing the same thing. I... Yeah, I guess I have. Interesting. Man, they've done a really good this this it must be said, these games do such a good job of making characters. Trails of cold steel. Um Quest Report. Keep up the good work. We will keep up the good work. We didn't get a promotion though. But here we go, to the twenty fifth. Of April. I don't know if they have Aprils in the same way. If they do their calendar in that way. But here we are at Weathercock. An undeniably hilarious name. For a place. Here are your tasks for today. Manager left them with me. Thank you. Field envelope April. What are we doing in our field study today? We have assigned tasks day two. Celtic Highway Monster. So one of these and Lost Wallet. We'll be doing both of these today. Neither of these are urgent though. Fewer than yesterday. Maybe less work for us to do because we knew we were going back to Trister. Sounds about right. He's a very considerate man. Last train, your way leaves at around nine. Get those done quickly. You can have dinner before here before you leave. Thank you very much. So, should we get started? We certainly should. Hey, Laura. I want to apologize for what I said to you. Here we go. Huh? Reen, as I told you then, it's a matter for you to come to terms with, and not something which your apology is required. It's not only what I mean, for making light of the way of the sword. There we go. Instead of being dropout, it's never progress past beginner level with disrespectful. I must confide to the school I follow and the path of the sword itself. For those reasons, it was inappropriate for me to say, say that. 
I'm sorry. A mature man. Should be apologizing as well. Can't pretend to know much about your personal circumstances. Regardless of one's background or social standing, one should always be able to live with pride. If you truly make a light of yourself with your own abilities, it's an act of shame for which you owe yourself recompense. Very true. Let me ask you a question, Reen. Do you like the path of the sword? It's not really a matter of liking or disliking. It's part of my life, inseparable of part of who I am. That's all I wanted to hear. Feel exactly the same way, Laura. We need to get some bonding points for this. Were we not our friends? She pretends she talks a big game, but she really just wants everyone happy. We got big trouble. What's the big trouble? First thing in the morning, you're priced to wake up the dead. Something terrible has happened at the market. Some stolen merchandise. So some shit's happened at the market. I feel like this is probably where the story goes. So let's make our way to the Le Marquet. What should we do? To admit I'm curious. Definitely should see what's happening in the market. First things first, though. We're not going to go quite there straight away. I can do this. Right. Okay, I wanted to, to go. go check out the um, Orbal Factory. Interesting. Head towards the Grand Market. Sorry, couldn't quite be open for business. Oh, students from yesterday. Good morning. I've been late today, I see. You already know the robbery from yesterday. Two merchants whose stools were destroyed are still arguing about it. You bastard. It's those two. Should we try talking to them? Let's see what we can say. Obviously, it's between these two. How dare you destroy my stool, you damn coward! And you can't you find to be trusted. Well, that's gonna be. Come on, admit it. When well, you call me a coward, you Helm, Der Helm Delarian snob, you're the one who wanted my spot for yourself. Calm down. Paying all this and trying to pay me as the bad guy here, you make me sick. Why don't you say me sad things right here and now? Hold it. So, what have we got ahead of us? Class 7. You kids. Keep your noses out of this. I'm gonna pay him for smashing my stall. Smashing? So he's pretty wrecked up, to be fair. We really are completely ruined. So this is something. Humming one is not gonna bring them back. They'll be a share. Smash will be worse off. I haven't got anything to sell. You stole my goods. You're gonna give them back right now and fix the damage. And here they go again. Stop this at once. Oh, the provincial army. What? What is the meaning of this? It's the middle of the morning. Stop the nonsense immediately. But I believe you're the one in charge. Explain an explanation. Well, you see, explain to Provincial Army what happened in the previous night. Hmm, I see. Solution is simple then. Men, take them away. Yes, sir. What? What do you mean, takes away? Two stalls stride, two sets of goods. Truth is clear as day. Two merchants in the midst of a heated argument committed the same crime at the same time. That's not fair, I. Do you not think it's premature to draw conclusions without any investigation? 
Which time he doesn't have time to waste solving petty squabbles. Not a reasonable man. Since you're just you'll be left alone. Continue, you come with us. The choice is yours. Seep the whole ordeal underneath the rug. Something about this seems really wrong. Ugh. Gah. Of course. But then I can agree wasting time on shenanigans like this is detriment to all parties involved. But we think twice before causing a ruckus again. Please excuse us. I'm busy man and I have more pressing matters. Interesting. There they go. They did not solve it. I'll I'll dread does not have it. Pretty angry about this. Two of you need to focus on keeping cool headed. Try try and use that time to think of something productive. So we need to help him all out. Assistance from the thing. Without reading really the others, grandma was only open for the day. I'll be behind schedule. Still pretty big. Big old say say. So, thanks to you four, we were able to open the grand market for business. I'm beginning to stare how grateful I am. We're very good. What a reason to be thank you. Merchant stores his life here to any action to take against the throne into a blind rage. Hard to take someone back from that, of course. The original army may have intervened, but I believe they had no attempts to find an amicable solution. Clear now than ever, they have no intention of trying to resolve any issues. They're not going to do anything unless we change the sales tax. There we go. So nothing needs to be done. Reen's going to have a little think. I have a favour to ask. Allowing us to investigate this morning incident. Of course. Sesame attempt to find the perpetrator. This is part of our job. I wish I sponsor you to address this and they're shirking their duty say it reflects poly on us all. No time. She's away. She asks us to think with our heads. Go and give it a hit a try. Neither chic nor sight. So, we need to do a bit of an investigation. Don't go out to seek in trouble. We'll deal with criminals who act under the cover of night. Of course, we'll be careful. Let's get this investigation started. Back to some good old cop work. So first things first, we need to decide where to start. Starting point is Grand Market itself, cream, center of the cream. Deadline is 9 p.m. Time management is the key. Uh, we definitely want to run out of time, even though time does seem to travel weird in these things. We're going to speak to Mr. Otto. Talk about ask about a quest monster. Well, not at all. French Army said they did handle it, but they didn't exactly seem to do so. But fine, don't worry about it. What sort of monster is it then? It seems to be a massive Avon monster appeared last night. It's blocking any passage through. On the same bridge on, located on the way to Helm, Heimdallar. So, that's not that much for Nushal. We'll report back once that's done. But let's head back to the market. See what we got going on. Speak to one. Would you have any be Lissy? That is us, of course it is. So, come to see about the request you sent in. Can you explain the situation? Ah, got it wrong. So, no one's here to claim it. So, you'd help delivering with your owner. Would you have to do that for me? Accept the request, of course.
Lost Wallet. We're going to do all of these this episode. Train ticket to Humble, our schedule for tonight. Shkars at the station. We'll do that, but we're going to do this first. So, we started the Lost Wallet one. We need to speak to your boy, Heinz. Aesthetic's funny participating in the film, famous thing. Whatever did I do to deserve this? So, excuse me. You. I'm sorry, you had to see me acting like that. It can be my inappropriate behavior. Seems really down. It's quite understandable, he's a merchant in the busy market. Explain the installation that they're investigating. Answer a few questions. Maybe I'll help find us the true culprit. Not detectives. Sure, I was supposed to say that I saw anything worth mentioning. You didn't. As soon as I made my store was ready to open, I left everything and went home. What got stolen? Bracelets. An accessory. It's against the idea of taking turns. So. No, it's a matter of justice. Can't act like nothing happened. Strong on general principle. I'm begging you to get my goods back. Let's try and question the other one. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. That really came out of nowhere. This is a very good spot. I mean, you're right near the cafe, but there we go. What the hell am I supposed to do? You're the kids from the military. not taking this very well. Hard to blame him. Explain that we're looking for it. Have you learned anything? So I've got nothing left to use. So what were you selling? Yeah, this morning I found a hell of a start on shambles. Processed foods. Interesting. He must have done it himself. Figured it strong his own soul would make him believe no we were responsible. It's a bit excessive. So, we've got accessories which are used, and then long shelf life. It's the kind of thing you would do if you're holding up, or you're some sort of warrior. Lost a lot of money. Seems like we've got everything that he knows. Two victims of crime, what does everybody think? Can't be sure, but I really don't think either of them are responsible. Adequate motives to damage the other store, but chance both commit the same crime on the same night, virtually crossing paths is virtually nil. It's not impossible they were there to steal each other's, I don't know if that's what happened. Both of them have alibis confirming they were somewhere else. I'm inclined to agree. I just can't see either of these merchants being responsible for what happened. You have to look somewhere else to find viable suspects. Where though? I mean, where could it possibly have been? I mean, I know where I'm going to be putting my hat, so. Do any sort of leads? Senior cop was. We're going to start narrowing down who it was. Focus our attention elsewhere. There's one thing that's been bugging me. Of course. Indeed. Talking about, obviously, the provincial army. 
the French Army. They haven't done a thing to solve this crime, despite having right on their noses. Why not? If that's the case, then why did they come and intervene? With these, you should go to the arms guards and take a look around. Might as well learn something for them to aid our investigation. Let's head over and see what we can do. Our AP increased by one, so... Aren't you students from Military Academy? What are you doing here? We're serious able to trouble you. We might be able to help us with something. This town of field study is Thor's. Much appreciated chance to see how experienced soldiers such as yourselves handle. See what we can do. Let's see what they can get out of them. It's probably going to be nothing. Hope you can appreciate us taking our time out of busy schedules. Which one? Make it quick. So I'm trying to keep up appearances. Charge and maintain peace, not seriously, you take this matter more seriously. How many units work? What do you mean? I mean, the will of liberty is absolute, which is following orders, protecting we have duty to protect. Doesn't look like we're going to be getting anything from this man. We didn't lightning. If you'll excuse me, I have a job to do. Wait, would you mind answering one more question? Elliot? Ask it. Well, um, you have an idea what might have happened to the goods Marco was handling? You know, accessories mission. All he had was left was one sample. What are you talking about? The capital it was the one who was planning on selling accessories. What? What did you just say? What are you looking at me like that for? How did you know that? It's only the impression you hadn't investigated the matter at all. How peculiar. There we go. They definitely took it. It's definitely them. They definitely ransacked both of these, those long life goods. Do you think? The they know each of the merchants selling means that they did investigate. Burglary happened last night. It's the only the first there's any opportunity for them to do any digging. There we go. Well advanced, easy information to learn since Jakaro must have issued permits. Why would they bother? Need to know something could prepare. I don't think it was either. Creating a narrative for themselves. Should withdraw the petition. It's very shady. We've uncovered the truth. Very good you displayed, Elliot. So, what do we do? Be too big to and go by train. So, we believe it's to be the merchant army, but we need to find, or rather figure out where it is they are. We need to speak to this gentleman on the road. Not that guy, evidently. Here's one. 
Talk to this lady. Are you okay? Oh, a nasty man did to her. Something the matter? Just chasing a flute near the west sound exit. Now this is weird ran asleep along the side of the street. Nasty smell, nearly fate. I was staring at him around a few days ago. I've seen him before that. Let's go talk to him near the west exit and track him down. He probably knows some shit, so let's go. Get our running boots on. Speak to the drunk man. Bring me another drink. Look after that nature park was his whole life. Used to be the part where you were the old dump, and then you lost your job. I don't know where to. Gave my life to that job, and he just came and took it all from me. There we go. Bunch of kids. Kids? Here yeah, last night, you see a bunch of kids in range uniforms went out of the town for the west exit. There we go. Let up Pride Lot off area and it fits. Pretty a smoking gun. We're not old enough. We know our next stop. Seems we're free prepared, let's head to Lumia Nation Park. Right, and we will be doing that, but not in this episode. In the next episode. We've got some other side quests to do, so we've got that monster to do first and then we've also got to see if we can track down the ticket so let's head towards the train station asked about whether or not it would be an inquiry regarding lost property there was an inquiry well it seems to match the description we received who when was the inquiry made this morning a young lady came along and panic claimed she was completely lost without her wallet and contents there we go seems to be traveling alone Right, return to the inn, do a thorough check. West clock right now, can't miss it. So let's go talk to Margot. I can do this. Hm. Of course. Here we go. To the weather cock. Speak to El Margio. Something to matter. Do you have any moment I'd like to ask you? Explain the situation. With the wallet, you're looking for Annabelle. Bad time she just left. Fortunate, we have a name now at least, it makes the life a lot easier. So we need to go to the rest area of the Grand Market. Run our way down. How much mirror have I got? Not a lot. That's fine. Speak to this gentleman here. Searching for her wallet. She was here in need a few minutes ago. She's gone now. Do you know where she went? Why she not? She mentions I'm having no choice but to rely on Adios now. Seems like the best bet. Let's head towards the church. Head on in here. Speak to this lovely lady here. So we found her, tragic hero in act makes it kind of obvious. Annabelle. Annabelle is here. Who will I review? Turn right now if you plan to rob me. I don't have any. Come now, we just want to ask you something. Assuming you are Annabelle, I am. Thought so. You wouldn't happen to recognize this wallet. Do you know about the wallet? It's my wallet. Where did you find it? Well, you see, we explained the situation. The thanks alone is enough. I mean, I would definitely take the mirror. We'll take the plushie as well. Why not? Gratefully accept. Very welcome. Finding the wallet. 
and that is that one done. We'll explain it to our good old friend here. So you managed to find the owner. Can't thank you enough. Go to Kudabu for help. Excuse us then. We've got the quest of the wallet is complete. Now, we've got a worst Seldic monster. I'm not going to make you force you to watch me going all the way there. But I'll see you guys once we found the Zwador Zwadar. I'll see you guys there. Before we go anywhere else, I am here as well. Because I need to speak to... Came across this book. Speak to Robin. Get the rude... Red Moon Chapter 5, 3, sorry, so that's always important, and I'll see you guys at the fight. So, if we come here, we find ourselves getting a warning sign. This is our boy. I don't think no matter what we do, we can't break it. Let's just go ahead and fight it. Ooh, it's a big boy. Okay, first things first, motivate to everyone. Alright, let's do this. Leave it to me. Of course. I'm going to do an armor breaker. Shatter. It's my turn. Then from here, let's go ahead and use our heat wave. Let's go. My turn. And then first thing we need to do is also use our detector. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. It's a big enemy, so we need to make sure that we I've got it. get it in the book. It's a big boy. Ariel is probably going to hurt a fair amount because we're all bunched together. Ooh, okay, yeah. We're doing a heat wave. Not sure it's going to do much. It doesn't, so we need to get on some healing. We're going to go here. We missed. Are we going to get a thing? Let's do a blessed arrow to us here. Oh, we can't heal ourselves. That's bluff fucking annoying. Let's try armor breaker again. Death down. That's what we want. Let's use our resounding beat to these guys. Then we'll do one to ourselves next turn. God damn it, we missed. We get a counter off. Ah, but we do heal up every turn now. Ugh, still not great. Hit! Fuck me! That's all we needed. That's all I want. Uh, we got an art zero here, so it feels like it makes the most sense to hit them with an earth lance, perhaps? Yes, earth lance is the best way forward. Of course. God damn it, it's got the arts. It's gonna go ahead and try and use our stuff. We're just gonna attack. It's gonna use an aerial. Who's it hitting? It's going to take out Elisa, which is not great. We'll use... Oh, we just... Just healed her enough. Let's use a resounding lullaby here, though. Give it up, everyone. Death up and then some healing here is what we, we need as well. We'll attack here. I'm going to use the blessed arrow. Can we? Can't even use that there. We'll do the earth lance. And I'll use Elliot to heal her on the next go. If he uses, starts casting arts, it's Wadar Tornado. It's not too bad for us. Let's use the armor breaker again. God damn it, stop missing. It's really frustrating. We'll attack here. My god, stop missing. Right. We'll do one of these here again. This with our tornado is fine. We need to, I want to just move. Here we go. Uh, we've got a zero arts, so it makes sense to try and make use of this. 
still got the heals. Yes. Oh, we don't have the leaf pedal though. We can use the flamberg here. Hopefully we get a pierce. Yes, an assist. Nice. Pierce seems to be the way forward. We'll use another armor breaker. Doesn't miss this time, which is good. Use another resounding beat. We're buffing ourselves up to the fullest extent, and then from here, because it's about to cast Aerial, Autumn Leaf Cutter is the way to go. Because it does impede and it stops the arts. If we hit, we do hit. Nice. It's gonna do it again. I can do this. Let's go for another flame bug. And then it should be a fairly simple deal. Pierce! An opening. And boom. Okay. When in doubt, look to Laura. Resounding lullaby. You've saved me more than once too. It's know. fucking broken. As a uh, as a skill, it really is. We get a breath. Interesting. We get us some more sepith for everyone. We get some levels up. Defeated the quest monster. So I will see you guys back at the market manager's house to turn in this quest. So we're back here. Let's speak to your boy, Otto. Tell him we've taken care of it. You taking care of it? Can't thank you enough. Reward for this. Some new material, always good. We completed the monster, so we completed both our side quests. So, I'm going to say I will see you guys outside Luminaire National Park in the next episode. Probably going to get some quartz on people, do some movements, um, but I'll see you guys then. Peace.